Hello, my friends, and welcome to episode three of the Rim Job. <laughs> I'm so childish. I really am. Just so childish. Let's go. Yeah, okay. So. If this mod follows the standard activations of the single player game, then when you have completed three normal contracts, the next story mission will unlock. And then that's where we're going to get to see where this is going. So the beginning of the game, the, the rewritten story is some kind of contrivance that basically Chimea lost lost the war against the directorate. That's what I've sort of gotten from this. And uh, she's been banished to the rim. Either that, or this is before the Directorate War started. But then, some of the things that were ha that have happened and were said wouldn't make sense, so... Right. Got it. On my way. Okay, obviously the spider does not Roger. have jump jets. Reporting enemy contact. All right, a single lance plus turrets. You have literally just said that. I'm still reading enemy contacts, Commander. You need to secure the area before you can proceed. Here they come, boys. Uh, stand your ground. Hey, a fire star. I would love to capture that. As we know, in the base game, a fire starter is one of the game's best mechs. When built correctly and handled correctly, ready for orders. It's a monster. Aye aye. And the missiles went to spares. That was an AC2. There's a turret with an AC2 shooting at us. Engaging jump jet. Beam. Engaging target. It's the old standard fire starter. Lots of energy and flame. Where did that come from? I hear ya. Affirmative. Uh huh. Okay. We'll put some hurt on him next on? turn. Aye aye. Let's just keep the spider running around. It's not like it contributes any real DPS to this fight. Plus, they waste their time shooting at it. I can then just move it to uh, reacquire evasion pips. See, this is the very definition of a wasted turn. Oh, my friend, you're about to get some. Look at that, I can get five tokens and still shoot. 
Javelin, Panther. On it. Pretty important that we get rid of the Fire Starter. The Panther is not so scary. LRM Javelin. Good to go. I uh, also wouldn't have that on the top of my scary list. Pain for you. Missiles for you. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Oh, the Panther is quite heavily armored, so. Packing a whole lot less firepower. Get some. Oh. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. He's almost Waiting gone. For orders. Moving to position. Uh, yeah. All weapons. I'm like, should I do a precision shot? I'll be alright. I've got sensor mark. Someone is vomiting missiles at us. Probably a turret. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Ah, uh, more, more, more Waiting junk for from my salvage table. Okay, we're down to two evasion tokens here. So it is time to reacquire. Our evasion tokens. Plus, we can do a little bit of a staggered retreat here. Pull away from the base and the turrets. Deny their support while we clear out the uh, the lance. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Yeah, that's not gonna matter. Uh, I'm bleeding, Commander. Oh, glitch is hit. Got clipped by a missile. Minor damage, Commander. Commander? Commander. Hmm, I actually don't have a clean shot. Unless I jump. Uh, I could vigilance away the uh, instability. Yeah, let's do it. Just for safety. Okay, it's alright, it's not bad. Okay, that sounds like a vehicle. So maybe those missiles are being launched at us by a vehicle. A little bit too close. Coordinates received. Firing is full power. Nice. Hostile eliminated. Okay, it's one down. That's one down. Oh, nice. It's a shame that that's the empty arm, though.
Okay, that's... Something with a PPC took a shot at me. Excuse me. Hmm. Uh, we've done some serious damage here, but only to a side that doesn't matter. If I can get behind the javelin. Holding action, Commander. The rear armor on the javelin is incredibly soft. Damage minimal. That's a nice hit. Although we did miss one of our large lasers, but that's the weapon arm that just took a load of damage. Let's see if I can drill a hole in him. Oh, that's two hits. Got it. Okay. Ready for orders. He's now officially target practice. Is that where the is that where the launcher is? Oh yeah, it is. Thought it was. Damn, that's uh receiving you. That's very serious damage for him. Location confirmed. Location confirmed. Sending surprise. Giving him everything I've got. Ah, unlucky. A missile volley into that compartment. And uh, whether he survives or not, he won't be a threat anymore. Good old Spider Man is. Evasion tanking so many uh, shots. <laughs> uh, even with two evasion tokens, he managed to dodge the vast majority of that. Good to go. We got another mech moving in. I need to reestablish his evasion. This actually gives me good sight of what's going on as well. LOL. This panther is no longer a threat to this. It's out of melee range. Without his PPC, he is uh, garbage. I think these turrets are actually what's firing Damage missiles at minor, me. Commander. See. 
Lol. <laughs> Come on, get him. Ooh, two in the leg. I mean... It's not what I wanted, but uh, it'll do. <laughs> I love it. Look at this spider as it just evasion tanking so much damage. Waiting for orders. I'm bleeding, Commander. Uh, I probably want to be careful about getting too close to this panther. It could go for a melee. I actually want to avoid being meleeed by the panther. dead. Actually, the spider could get him. An attack from the correct angle from the spider could actually get the, uh, get the panther. Of course, lights, as you know, as you guys know from the There Are Four Lights campaign, lights start to get really silly when you get the zero weight melee modules. And you can start hitting people for 160. Now, I see on this side his guns missing. Yes, Commander. Which means a couple of a couple of sneaky laser hits in just the right place, and his day is going to be a very bad one. Moving to position. Let's see if it happens. Oh. Oh. That didn't hit. Not well. Barely hit, Commander. A Javelin 10F. It's reasonably dangerous. Damage minimal. I wouldn't mind salvaging that LRM fifteen. What's up, boss? I doubt I'll get it though. Giving him everything I've got. Ooh, I did. That hit something good. I did hit him in just the right place. Minimal damage on that hit. Get the job done here, shall we? All I'll do it. Enemy mech destroyed. That's the way to do it. Good to go. Affirmative. I'll just kill the guy. 
There's definitely a vehicle out there somewhere. I can hear it rolling around. They've got a sensor lock on me. We've taken so little damage. Considering the volume of firepower that has been launched at us. Standing by. Alright, off you go. Get those invasion tokens rolling. Okay. He did a sprint. That makes him a poor target. Light damage. Holding firm. Yeah, I really don't want to shoot at that. What is the point? Okay, there is a couple of tanks floating around. Well, we knew that because we could hear them. Commander? Might be an opportunity here to cool off. What am I looking at? A light energy turret. It also apparently has a PPC. Go ahead and remove that. Yeah, I missed. Still have plenty of hostiles out there, but all in all, the lance is Orders. only very marginally damaged. I got to be careful with who I target with my Shadow Hawk because you know this ammo is not not infinite. Okay. Well, this locust has been firing at us for a while, so he may actually be pretty close to out of ammo. Oh, the vomit off the turret, that really hurt. For sure. I think it's this one's missile. Oof. Okay, that was bad. Oh, don't tell me he's out of missiles already. No. Waiting for orders. Alright, what I want is you here. Light command turret? What the hell is a command turret? An AC-5. And a medium laser. Ugh. 
Commander. I'm maneuvering my Shadow Hawk into melee ground. range because, I mean, it does 85. Uh. On it. It does 85 melee damage and it's got full armor. Almost full armor. One left turret. And the ammunition is starting to run low, so. It makes sense to rotate it from the rear line Anybody. to the front line. Okay, that's another turret eliminated. I'm gonna jump this Vindicator up here and eliminate that other turret as well. So I don't wanna deal with endless missile vomit. On my way. Run around, you give the run around. What I might do is penetrate the spider through the line and actually run up to the enemy vehicles, try and stand on them. So don't forget, melee damage is doubled against vehicles. So we might be able to um, Armor's holding. step on them for 70 and just bust them. Good to go. Right, let's vigilance again here. This is just to maintain my Engaging defensiveness. Subject. Light support turret. Two LRM 20s in the light support turret. I don't know whose idea this was of light support. Got it. Fortunately, it has the classic vanilla problem that the turrets are kill. too weak and can just be splattered in one hit. Even the lightest, most least armed of mechs can one-shot them. Damage is minor, Commander. Give me a punch in the face. My friend. You're gonna get punched! A light SRM turret. Okay, that's not a threat. And we just don't go anywhere near it. And we're fine. It does limit our movement options, but I can live with limited movement. Oh, it's a hit. Locust. Enemy mech. Critical damage. The stock design has so little armor. Vehicles can run out of ammo, so I mean, the striker might be quite low on missiles by now. I'm pretty sure it's only got one ton of ammunition. Receiving you. Standing by. I will break you! <laughs> Ouch. Now it's on. Ready for orders. How much armor have you got? Okay, he is like it is possible to just Waiting stand on him. The only issue is with getting too close to that turret. Might take the SRM turret out just to give me freedom of movement. Getting there. Let's see what the javelin does. Eh, fine. Waiting for orders. Let's 
actually a good shot from up here. But the moment I take it, of course, I'm going to lose my defensiveness. Good to go. Good to go. Is that a rear punch? Oh, it totally is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he just ripped the beating heart out from it. Down. This is going to be rear hits, but the uh, rear armor is reasonable. Light damage, holding firm. Commander, having solid rear armor does give you tactical freedom. On it. And the tactical freedom it gives you is to show your back to someone for maybe a turn. Commander? Sometimes that tactical freedom is very powerful. Roger that. Ah, I missed a shot. I missed a shot. I did not get the turret. Let's not jump. Let's not jump for now. Let's just shoot. I had plans, but never mind. I had plans! Target destroyed. But it's more important to get rid of that turret. I was going to jump up and lance the, the striker. Which may or may not kill it. They're flanking. Yes, Commander. How about a nice warm slice of- No one cares! My boot is going through the top of your tank. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. What's that double melee damage against vehicles? Standing by. That, uh... Allows the spider to actually... Acknowledged. Do some useful damage. Roger that. Oh, for crying out loud. Hey, nice. Dead. Enemy unit destroyed. Oh, the lag. That smoke effect has not been properly Heading optimized. Out. Got it. The base is ours. And we took no damage. I will call that a win. Eighth. Nice payout. Damn. Considering the salvage rights. Right. I'll take the fire starter piece because of course I will. A javelin would be a massive improvement over the f over uh the turkey that I'm using. The spider. Hey, I got a panther piece too. Hey, I got the LRMs. Sweet, we can revisit the Shadow Hawk. We have the missile launchers. We have the technology. We need refit time.
SOS in the deep periphery. Everyone needs to hear this. I picked up a radio chat between spaces and a distress signal was received a week ago. Why do we care about eggheads? The word is the jump ship returned and is currently orbiting Ghoul and hiring mercenaries to search for the missing expedition. This might be our lucky break! There could be a missed jump. They're on a resupply mission so we can assume it that to be eventually rescued if something bad happens and there are no ghosts out there, Yang. It's old spacer stories. There was some academic interest in the area, but there simply wasn't much funding or resources due to the war. There could be another bounty hunter out there. This place might have a fair share of the galaxy's outlaws and opportunists, but there is scientific research being conducted here. Wow, that's idealistic. Okay. Uh, we were already at Ghoul, so... It's the next part of the plot. There's also a 728 destroyed base here. Okay, well, there are definitely things to consider, that is for sure. Before we consider those things, let's just round out our, uh, let's round out our episode by finishing the construction of this into something actually more useful. LRM 10s are like not efficient, but they do run cool. Okay, this is not like the most efficient missile build in the universe, but it's uh, not bad. Twenty-five over one twenty-five, ten, fifteen. I'd say I got fourteen rounds of fourteen rounds of ammunition, fourteen volleys. That's pretty reasonable. That's a bit better than the, uh, uh, 
12, 12 and 15. We've traded 45 AC damage for 60 LRM damage, but the fact that we're all just the fact that we're just using all LRMs is what's beneficial here. It's one type of weapon is easier to control. So, not necessarily an ideal setup. I'm actually just thinking. Um, taking out forty for twenty five. No, we'll stick with this. It's fine. It's fine. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. The point is now is that, you know, if 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 and when we blow a hole in an enemy mech or uh, some some ammunition gets exposed or whatever, we've now got a mech that can actually Job's done, Commander. Hurl a ton of missiles and maybe get that ammunition to cook off. So, there is an additional benefit. It's not just the 15 extra damage. Because <clears throat> I think many people might trade 45 in one hit for 60 splatter. But just having a mech that can do a ton of splatter damage is really useful for when you've made a hole in somebody. Now it's time to Welcome fill that to hole with, uh, with rockets. Right. It looks to me we do not have the mod that lets you combine different mechs of the same variety together. So you will not be building any more mechs until such time. As, uh... We've got all the pieces. I will say... Just selling the parts and buying a mech is something I could very easily do. Since I get like a hundred and a hundred thousand or so for every light piece that I have. This is a great mech, but it's just, you know, I haven't got the equipment for it right now. That's another thing to consider. Okay, that is it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.